Hi guys, Matt Thomas here at Cedar Rock Studio Guitar Gallery in Indiana, and today we've got a very lovely 2007 Bill Tippin Crescendo. Now, to me, the Crescendo is kind of akin to a triple O. It's about OM or triple O width, but it's that elongated body. Now, the difference to it is it's not a 12 fret to body. So it's a 14 fret guitar. So the bridge is a little more forward, which leaves a lot of surface area here in the belly. Now, this features a really lovely kind of aged Adirondack top that has a little bit of an amber toner to it. But as you flip it around, it's got this stunning set of, of Brazilian rosewood with kind of that lighter color strip that's near the sap, but not sapwood. Um, and some lovely spider webbing throughout it as well. Now it's got an abalone back strip center seam here um, that is wrapped around with a maple purfling that ties perfectly in with this flamed maple binding around the back and the sides. And as you get into the face here, it's got a burgundy flame maple abalone flame maple burgundy purfling all the way around the front face here. Now, with the amber tone, as you get into the rosette, it looks like, oh, there's also a, a spruce inner ring, but it's not. He chose this flamed maple cut that was the same color as this kind of toned uh, Adirondack and then wrapped it around with some thin abalone and that burgundy purfling as well. Now it's got his signature hand sculpted bridge, but with Brazilian rosewood and a really tight grain Brazilian at that. Um, and this really interesting kind of amber colored uh, pick guard that's kind of tortoise shelly, but it's not the same color. It's, a, it's much more golden amber to it rather than the red tortoise shell style pick cards. Now it's got a ebony fretboard that's bound all the way around with the flame maple um, and these lovely black dots that just jump out at you. But there's nothing on the face of the fretboard. Um, now it has a 1.75 nut width here and two and a quarter saddle here so it's great for either flat picking or finger style. Um, and as you get into the head cap, it's got a really lovely kind of lighter chocolate Brazilian rosewood head cap here with n no inlay or anything on the face of it, but that kind of triangle signature inlay that he does here at the first fret. Um, as you flip it over, it does have a Brazilian rosewood head cap on the back that looks like it was shaded to go into the neck here and blend right in. And it's got some gold Waverly tuners on it, which are some of the best feeling and responding Waverly's I've ever experienced. So the install they did on it was phenomenal. But let's talk about the tone. Um, this was quite shocking. Maybe it's because it's it's a broken in aged sounding guitar, but the trebles have no ping or stridentness to them. They're very round. So it's a very warm sounding guitar. And it's interesting that you can get so much variance between this space here you know you can choke up and get very warm or get down here and have a little more of a bite but even with the bite it doesn't it doesn't have that pinginess or really sharp attack um, it's a very easy playing guitar, phenomenal setup, uh, standard scale, but it does have a, a good bit of nice wiggle, which shows that 
it, it's set up incredibly well. Now, if you've got any other further questions about this special 2007 Tippin Crescendo, message Alan at cedarrockstudio.com, and thanks for listening.